Hi, uh, this is Jeff Kaiser from MightyElm.com, and uh, I want to talk about the Geiger kit uh, that I designed for Chaos Camp. So here it is, and um, this is a Geiger counter. Um, it's based around an AVR microcontroller, uh, which controls all the sounds and lights and everything on the kit. Um, this is the Geiger tube. That's a very commonly available SBM20. Uh, Geiger tube, you can get these on eBay. Um, this is a high voltage power supply down here. Um, and uh, it's got a few different features. Uh, it, one, one thing, so I can demonstrate it in action. So uh, this is an old uh, watch that has a glow in the dark face that happens to contain radium. This is the way that they used to make glow in the dark watches. Um, and if you hold it close to the Geiger tube, um, you can see that it uh, starts clicking and making noise and flashing the um, LED. Um, now, if the noise gets annoying, um, you can push the button and it mutes the sound, um, but it's still registering uh, the uh, radiation and the LED is still flashing. Um, another thing that you can do with this kit is um, you can use these connectors that are on the top um, this is the pulse output, which outputs a short pulse every time uh, you hear a click, and uh, you can use that to connect this to other things, like an Arduino, uh, to do stuff based on sensing radiation. Um, and the other thing you can do is um, it has a serial port, and um, you can use the serial cable to connect to the serial port for data logging. So now I have, this is an FTDI uh, USB to serial cable, which works at 3.3 volts. Um, and you can see that over on the laptop here, uh, now it's recording um, uh, radiation. So uh, that's showing uh, the measured uh, counts per second, uh, counts per minute, and uh, an equivalent dose in microsieverts per hour. So. Um, this is the Geiger kit that I designed for Chaos Camp, and um, I'll be doing uh, two workshops over the week, uh, one on Thursday from uh, 1530 to 1700, uh, 530 to 7 p.m. in the evening, and another on Saturday at the same time in the hardware hacking area in Hack Square.